very serious damage on Tojo. Now Sam Bass has picked up a chair, the ring announcer's chair, started in. I think he really just wanted to get the referee's attention so that Lawler could get by with a little more of his illegal activity. Tojo is in trouble, no question about it. In this quest, in his quest for the championship, trying to lift the belt from Jerry Lawler. And you've got to figure that when you do that, you've got to also include Sam Bass in any effort because he's going to be right in the middle of it. Again, the belt around the throat of Tojo Yamamoto, who is barely staying on his feet with the unbelievable amount of punishment he's taken from Law and from Bass. Look at that. Now Sam Bass has it. He's tightened it around the neck of Tojo. The referee busy with... Jerry Lawler and Bass is continuing the battle against Tojo Yamamoto from outside the ring. Look at that, man. Lawler very heatedly arguing with the referee, keeping him busy. Now Sam has his belt back, walking back around the ring. He's wearing a long sports shirt with the tail hanging out so that you cannot tell the referee or anybody else whether he has the belt on or not. He lets the shirt tails come down over the top of his trousers to hide the belt, whether he has it on. So it is still champion Jerry Lawler, the Southern heavyweight champion, defending his title against Tojo Yamamoto. And now he's handed the chain to Sam Bass, who will hide it, of course, so that the referee can't see it if he searches Lawler. And that's what he's doing. He's searching Lawler, but Sam Bass has the chain. So that means that the referee will find Lawler clean, no hidden object of any kind. He had it, but he sipped it over to Sam Bass, and that's the way it is right now. So fans, Lawler is the champion still and retains his title over Tojo Yamamoto. and gentlemen, a huge crowd has thronged its way into the auditorium tonight, and they're watching a battle that they won't forget for a long, long time. They're seeing right now Ricky Gibson and Steve Kovac all out against the team of Don Kent and his partner, Chris Gallagher. And the man in the red shirt that you see there at ringside has truly been a fly in the ointment of Gibson and Kovac tonight. He is Jim Kent, and he is the new manager of their opponent's team. He has certainly been guilty of very much interference tonight. Very heavy interference. And there you see him right there reaching through to hold Ricky Gibson's leg so that he cannot get away from Don Kent. Reaches up and hits him once in the stomach. Now this is typical of his conduct in this match tonight. Steve Kovac powering Chris Gallagher into the ropes. And now he's going after Jimmy Kent. He'll never catch him. This guy can move like Quicksilver. He picks up a chair. Gibson is out on the floor, so is Kent. Don Kent being battered by Ricky Gibson, throws him into the crowd. And now Gallagher slugging at Kovac. Kovac fighting back. Gibson goes over. He's not through yet with Mr. Kent. He's going to work him over a little more. Takes a chair, a heavy metal chair, and bangs it over his head. <laughs> the crowd standing as they have throughout just about all of this match tonight. Boy, now you see Kovac and Gibson back in the ring. Gallagher's picking up a chair. He may try to bring it in with him. Gibson takes it away from him, hits him in the head with it, and throws the chair out under the rope. Gallagher, Chris Gallagher, trying to get in the ring. Gibson battering him about the head with his right foot. The referee now is telling Gibson to let the man get into the ring. Ken is on the edge of the ring, and down he goes. He has been Gibson's particular target tonight. Don Kent, former member of the Kangaroos. It's Gallagher now who is suffering at the hands of Kent, and there is a slashing right. I read at the hands of Gibson. There's a slashing right for Don Kent. Kovac comes around to give Kent another solid right, and look at that speed demon going around the ring, Jim Kent. Coming in behind Gibson. Out through the rope goes, let's see, that's Gallagher. Gibson is in the, look, oh, almost hit the referee that time. I don't think he intended to. He was trying to get 
around at Kent, but he accidentally hit the referee, apparently. He picks Don Kent up. He's going to bring him over the ropes and into the ring. Look at that. What a match. One, two, and I almost said three, but no. Kent was in there again. Jim Kent, manager of the team of Don Kent and Chris Gallagher. Newly announced manager. And he has certainly been an asset to them tonight. Steve Kovac, now blood is flowing down the face of Don Kent. A copious amount of blood streaming down the forehead and the face. Very obvious to all the fans here. Boy, they've really got him bleeding. Look at Jim Kent, here he comes. Right off the top rope, a bomb's away into the side of the face of Ricky Gibson. Kent is bleeding away. Kovac taking a series of blows from Gallagher, but still fighting back. But Don Kent is giving Ricky Gibson a rough going over. Now Kovac goes in to help Gibson. And they're battering Kent right at the top of his head, and blood is flowing. Look out, off the top rope again. Here comes Jim Kent, all the way across. He missed him. He missed him. Gibson rolled out of the way. And Jim Kent suffered a leg injury. He's limping around the ring. Nothing like his former speed being shown now. Don Kent is still working on Ricky Gibson, and Kent reaches through the rope. Jim Kent to chop him with a right hand. Let's see what's going to happen. The Gibson is going to have to get off those ropes. Kovac is outside on the floor. Gallagher is kicking at him. Jim Kent slipping up behind him. Would like to get a swing or two if he can without any danger. Now he's kicking. Both men kicking. Steve Kovac, who's helpless on the floor, and Don Kent. Don Kent sends Ricky Gibson over the top rope. The referee is on the other side of the